Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. I've been looking forward to this game for quite some time. And for those of you who follow the channel and my streams, you've heard me go on and on and on and on about it and how I very much fancy a good look and a good go at this game. Good simulation game. Okay, so what we're going to do in this video, Farming Simulator 2022, we're going to look at the settings, go through the settings, the downloadable content, and I pre-ordered this, so I got a few items on the pre-order and also starting up the game configuring your farmer all right and creating your character so straight off the bat we're gonna go down to the option setting now with any sort of game like this the option setting you've got at the top language your multiplayer language and your input help mode now it does ask you when you start the game up, do you want to configure this for, you know, controllers, joysticks, throttles, all that sort of thing. I'm going to be using the keyboard, at least for the time being. Um, also you've got eye tracking, for eye tracking devices here. I mean, I'm not sure if my Logitech will do it, uh, but I haven't got anything specific to do eye tracking so we're going to leave that as it is we've got force feedback as well well we don't want any of that force feedback uh, not that i'm using uh, any sort of joypad that supports that we'll leave the invert y look as it is as off and then down to the sound settings you can set your general sound setting and your music the sound of the vehicles the environments all that sort of stuff depending on how much ambience you want what your settings are going to be once you've made any changes here, click on apply, just so it's all saved. Uh, next down, we've got display settings. Now I'm gonna be running this in 4K. I've got my 3080 Supreme RTX. So I'm kind of hoping it's gonna give me a good, rich experience. Um, so I've got it on very high. It's 2160, so 4K. Got my V-Sync on, running it in window mode because my other machine is running sort of Streamlabs, that sort of thing. And I've got my resolution scaling and all that good stuff done. At the bottom, you'll notice as well, advanced graphic settings. Now, this is where you can go through and add things like DLSS, all that sort of stuff, um, should you want to. And it really is, you know, your own choice as well, if you want to use all this sort of stuff. And it depends on the performance and um, the quality of the game when you get it. So I've got things generally set to very high and high all the shadows, I've got my beacon lights turned on, good texture resolution, you know, you've got low or high, very high, low, medium, high. So there's different qualities of detail in regards to different settings as well. So I would, you know, invite you to go through all of these and have a damn good look. Then you've got your keyboard controls. So typical movement, this WASD, and of course you've got all the other stuff as well, jump, crouch, uh, run. Uh, you've got build mode as well, left shift and P, all this sort of stuff, which, you know, is going to look daunting to a new player like myself. And if you've never played this game, there's lots of keys to learn. Um, or you can get it all via a gamepad as well. Any changes you can make, you can then reset back to factory defaults. Go in there, honk the horn. Uh, next up, then we've got mouse sensitivity. I've got mine set as as it is to that sort of sensitivity so it's well worth going back into the keypad controls having a good look writing some down you can always go back to it you know via the escape menu as well to have a look uh, if you're if you're stuck on what to do but like any game there's going to be a learning curve and that's what i'm expecting when i get into it so okay let's go back downloadable content so as i mentioned I've got quite a bit of content here. We've got small tractors, large tractors, cedars, trailers, all these other packages as well. If you look at what's installed, this is generally what came with my version of the game. Um, I got the Xeron Saddle Track Pack, whatever that is. It looks really cool, isn't it? And we've got all the general tractors and whatnot, you know, and all these uh, are all installed. Um, you can show all modifications as well, show cross-play modifications at the back. Um, and then you can look at the mod hub to see what else is in there. But you can see I've basically installed everything that I could. Um, any updates? Got the update button there, so you can update within the game. 
any more downloads. Again, you've got downloads and you've got the D any DLC you have. And of course, I've got this because I pre-ordered the game. Um, any extra content? Well, I haven't got any extra content. And of course, you know, I've got all these other mods as well that we've installed. The most downloaded, well, it would be the most downloaded because that's exactly what's available at launch for Farming Simulator 2022. And next up, all the latest mods again. So, okay, so you've got the player action camera. Yeah, we'll have that. Um, can I install it? This mod allows you to move and modify the field of view of the player camera by mouse. Use the middle mouse button to control the player height. Use the middle mouse button while holding the rice mouse button to control the field of view. In order to reset, press the middle mouse button once. Well, it's worthwhile having a go, isn't it? We'll install that anyway. Okay, escape takes us back. And mods have been downloaded. It says to restart the game uh, to use them. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So, so with that game nicely restarted, the mod should take effect. And we'll see once we get into it. So into what we're all waiting for now, the career mode and getting actually into the game. So kicking on career, we've got three slots and there's more if you scroll across. So you can have different farms, different farmers, depending on what you want to do. If you're just starting out. Select the first one, that's what I'm going to do, and click continue at the bottom. Um, now I'm a new farmer, so it'll give you some land and equipment, and the economy is quite profitable, and game elements are set on easy. If you're a farm manager, then you've had some experience with this sort of simulation before. I haven't, so I'm going to go for the nice new farmer version. And of course you've got start from scratch, which is hard, which is a real challenge, tough economy, you know, prices are low, you know, you're really going to be up against it to sort of like get any profit or, or try and, if you don't know what you're doing, excel at the game. So I'm going to go for new farmer and then click continue. Now what it does is it takes you to one of three maps that come with this version of Farming Simulator 2022. So you've got Elm Creek. There you go. You've then got um, Hort Baileron, which is the it's very sort of like um, European sort of olivey area. And you've got another one that says to me, Austria. I don't know. It just says Austria to me. This one here. Um, I'm going to go with the first, which is Elm Creek. Uh, looks a little bit Americanized. But I'm all right with that. You know, and then we're going to say continue. It'll say, what mods do you want? Well, I've got my action camera there. No idea how I'm going to use this. Uh, but we'll have a go. We've got all my tractors from my DLC. And you can deselect these or select them if you want. You know, you click on that, press deselect, and you won't have that particular machinery. Um, click on the box again, and there it is. So once you've got the start, you're happy with your DLC and your mods, you can guess what's coming now. It's going to load the map, and it's going to invite us to select a farmer model, okay? Um, yes, you can be a man or a woman. You can have hats or no hats. You can wear overalls or just normal civvy clothes. It's completely up to you. So here we are, it's at 100%, clicking on start. And here we've got our character creation screen. So first off at the top, we've got, I think, what could be classed as our gentleman characters. And then the second bank of two rows, we've got our more feminine and female characters. And you can tell sort of by their gait and their appearance, there's a definite sort of distinction. So if you want to be a lady, you can be a lady. If you want to be a gentleman, you can be a gentleman. Completely up to you. All right. Um, boom. All right, there we go. So it's interesting to note, right, with the guys... We get guy hairstyles, right? You got it? With the ladies, right? You get lady hairstyles. Um, or more feminine hairstyles, for example. Completely up to you. 
how you want to do it, how you want to dress this up, it's up to you. Same with the clothes. They're all the general same type of clothes. You can choose some individuals or you can go for more utilitarian sort of suits. Or you can go for individual items. You know, a good duffel coat, puffer jacket, all that sort of stuff. Completely up to you. And then, you know, you've got your trousers as well. A pair of combat pants or work pants. Even down to the shoes. You know, work boot, trainers. Get yourself a nice hat, motorbike helmet, a beret. Um, good old beanies. Again, it's all down to your own personal preference. And you can also even go down to the fact where, what gloves do you want to wear? And also eyewear, if you want any eyewear. Completely up to you. So, let's go for a farmer. Uh, we're going to give ourselves a bit of a beard there. Um, not going to bother with a moustache, because that would be ridiculous. Um, overalls. We're going to go for individual items. We're going to go for a good old sort of like gilet and check shirt. You can select the color of these as well, right? So there you go. What sort of color do you want? Dark brown, light brown, up to you. If you want to change your hair color as well, um, select the color of your hair. Or if you can go a bit gray, completely up to you. You can change your name as well here at the top. If I can only spell my own name right. There you go. Change. We've named our character, done our hairstyle, selected the colour of our hair. The beard again, you can collect. You can do your stubble there as well. Um, however you want to play it, of course with the moustache and the clothes as well. If you select certain items, you can also select typical colours of the overalls you want to go with. Um, if you select that one, you can go with the individual units. You can be, you know, a beehive keeper. You can be a race car driver. And, and why not? I mean, this is farming simulator after all. I'm going to go with that. Right, next up, we're all happy with that, and we're ready to proceed. So we've selected our farmer. You can rotate your farmer as well by holding the right mouse button down uh, and having a good look around at the back, at the front, what have you. And you've got that rotation ability. So once you're all satisfied with all this, uh, time to start confirming. So we're going to confirm that. Welcome to Farming Simulator. We're going to start a short guided tour. This will show you the basics of the game. Well, yes, I think I would. Here's the guided tour. So it says at your left, you've got um, edge of your field. You've got is a big green harvester. Head over there and touch the exclamation mark like right next to it. So that's what we're going to do. So with that then, we are off. So look at this, we've got all that. We've got a door here. Um, great. We've got to go over there and touch that combine harvester. It's green. Right, there you go. This is one of the fields you own from the very start. Its wheat has conveniently grown to a stage where it can be harvester. Time for you to enter the combine harvester and get started. Okay. E to enter. Right, a combine harvester. Can I get in it? Enter vehicle. I can. Ooh, look at this. We're combine harvestering. Okay, attach the harvester's head that's sitting right in front of it. To help, the panel in the top left corner will always show you the functions. Okay. Right, attach. 
Okay, good. Now unfold the harvester and turn it on so the header starts rotating. So we've got to unfold, so that's X. And then turn selected tool on or off, which is B. Right, right, so X. Well, things are happening. Things are opening up. Look at this. Right, so we've done that. So let's try that again. So, well, look, see, we're closing things up. Now we're close, turning things on. Good. Now if we press B, oh, things are combine harvestering. Look at this. Okay, so um, W to accelerate, S is the ex to deaccelerate, A and D. Let's see if we can get this done. So here we go. Okay, we can change cruise speed. We can turn the harvester off. Hey, hire an AI worker for this. Uh, we're typically going straight down. So far, so good. So with that and my combine harvester, combine harvestering, and the ability to scroll around and zoom out with my camera. How cool is this? Now here comes the problem, I suppose, with combine harvesters. Um, I suppose I've got to lift the header like that, and then aim myself around crushing all my wheat as I go Lower my header. And then carry on combine harvestering. Oh, I'm missing tufts of wheat there and everything. I am utterly ridiculous. See, my pipe is out ready. It's really cool stuff. It's, I'm really going to enjoy this. Really going to enjoy this. So there you have it. Farming Simulator 2022. We've gone through the settings. We've gone through creating a farmer and modifying said farmer. Whether you want to be a man or a woman. Also, just turn my harvester off. Also, a little bit of combine harvestering. On my farm so good stuff really hope you've enjoyed the video i'm gonna really enjoy playing this look back for more videos in the series i've been ricardo this has been farming simulator 2022 um take care and happy happy cultivating is what i want to say really i'll see you soon